Hi, so this is a travel log for the first day and basically now the first night. First of all, I want to say Happy New Year's. I hope 2018 will be great for you and I hope you will have some outdoor experience also, you know. <laughs> I like to share and I like to inspire you to get outdoors. If you are around Skone, I could show you around sometimes and otherwise just you know grab a backpack and some common sense obviously and just get outdoors. Today it's winter and we are going below zero degree and those kind of conditions make it that you have to be careful about different things. One common rule in winter, you should not sweat. Stupid, but it's, it's very important that you are careful to not sweat. So you should never run. You should not run to the point of sweating because if you sweat, your clothes are going to get wet and the cold is going to freeze that and make you even colder. That's one of the reasons. So just be careful if you go in winter know what you're doing and just enjoy it. The point that I like about winter trekking, winter outdoors in general, is that it's very rewarding, but it's also very punishing. And that's kind of why it's rewarding. Because every mistake you make, you're gonna pay it 10 times. If you forget gloves, your hands are gonna be painful. In autumn, if you forgot gloves, just gonna be cold and it's not gonna be comfortable if you forgot gloves in winter and specifically when you go below zero then it's gonna get painful also the reverse is true when you succeed to do the things when you succeed to make fire when you succeed to be comfortable then it's like much more rewarding it's way more easy in the summer you know so in the winter this challenge added make it much more much more reward. That's what I like. And right now, I am so cozy and comfortable, you don't even imagine. First of all, I came back to this place that we found with Ali, which is this cabin that basically is kind of hidden and is really near to this lake. And just, just, just imagine, as a note, I was extremely tired. So it was like, it have to work out. I mean, I had my tan, but I really wanted something nice for today. I uh, was working a lot this last week, so I kind of wanted some really nice place. So i back into Blekingeskone border at Rostlagen Lake. And uh, there is those two shelter and we found this cabin there. And uh, when I arrived there, I saw the first shelter was occupied by three Swedish people, okay, and the second shelter was also occupied, and I was like, oh, please, 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 make sure that the cabin is free, make sure the cabin is free, please, 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 and beam, the cabin was free for me. I'm sure if they wouldn't have known that this was here, they would have come here, but as I said, it's pretty hidden and you have to know where it is. So, so now I enjoy this cabin for myself. Let me show you around. pretty small but that's the good point of it because easy to warm and to keep warm and outside is like maybe minus two minus three something like that there is some wind and the humidity of the lake is not making it easy and during the night they're planning to have maybe minus six so I'm gonna be so comfortable into that <laughs> it's just almost cheating 
But anyway, I'm gonna have a really good night here. I will leave you on some drone shot that I take. And I had some fun also playing around with some smoke grenade that a friend of mine gave to me. Enjoy. Enjoy.